Hello everybody, welcome once again here. So, so we will discuss about the um, uh, about the photographic memories. Yesterday we also some discuss about the photographic memories. But today so we will soon give the some some more ideas related to the photographic memories. So photographic memories are such memories that we can see visualize any objects by the mental eye. Mental eye means that so, so we have so two types of the eye. First eye is a physical eye. Physical eye means that uh, that uh, sense organs we see any object or observe any object with the help of the two eyes. Two eyes given here so, in a human beings uh, and uh, other pictures also have uh, two eyes. And uh, with the help of these eyes, we can see the physical worlds. But suppose that we want to see the another worlds uh, by closing our eyes. We will see that uh, some things and some pictures or images is also stacking in our minds. These images and the pictures are generally we can see and um, it's a clear image can be um, stored in our uh, memory so as we had mentioned yesterday um, two types of memory first types of memory is, is, is called conscious memory and the second types of memory is said to be the unconscious memory conscious unconscious and the uh, third types of memory that was also associated with it uh, according to the mythology that is said to be the super conscious memory so conscious subconscious and the super conscious memory three types of memories are religious as we are generally working of conscious memory conscious memory that is giving you knowledge and uh, taking the knowledge with the help of the, these five sense organs five sense organs these are the organs sense and sensor that sense any object by hearing by means of the sound by uh, touching by means of the means of the uh, skin by observing by means of the uh, eyes by uh, by testing by means of the our tongues and uh, these are the, the five sense organs uh, by means of the smellings that is uh, receptors that is nose so these are five sense organs that give knowledge and we these accept this knowledge from our surrounding environments these environments are generally we know that uh, environments have all types of the features means that uh, um, uh, biotic and abiotic features so biotic and abiotic features can be observed with the help of the, the our memory this memory is as, as, uh, associated with our brains so brains is uh, associated with the conscious part unconscious part super conscious parts so these informations uh, that is said with the also data okay so these informations uh, we are taking observing and sensing and uh, hearing listening and tasting by means of our sense organs and taking grabbing it inside our body that is in if you are talking about uh, these all things uh, we say that uh, we are doing uh, this work act this act uh, uh, act as a uh, input so just like a computer's input methods is available yes whatever the input we are giving our instructions we are giving to the computers means that computer can be inputted for all the information can be in, inputted in it so memory means that uh, the means that the computer is also have a memory that is ram and roms a random access memory and the read only memory so these types of memory two memories are available here so random access memory read one memories and uh, after searching it will provide us all informations whatever we need so first of all so we will try to understand this this sequence of our memory means that human beings memory and uh, also a computer memory computer generally you know that the computer works on the basis of the binary digits and these binary digits convert into the different symbols like uh, words like uh, digits and uh, digits and words and uh, different languages there are a lot of languages in the whole world is also available yes. and the symbol and uh, also available yes so with the help of symbols with the help of figures which features and uh, tables and also a uh, different uh, tactics we connect it uh, with its binary digits and whatever the demand we want it will provide us fastly means that recalling us fastly if the computer does not recalling us miss providing a fastly means that it's a very slow it would be very slow and uh, this slow motions slow uh, giving information like uh, tactic is not accepted by the today's modern age generations and the modern times because uh, it is the fast uh, growing times and uh, developing and a developed country always struggling that they will they would beat 
they should they want to beat another one so beating and um, keeping ourselves in a top positions it is the character of the character of the human nature so it is the human nature and uh, all the characters we will leave here and we will come to the points of the memory of human beings so these human beings memory is associated with our uh, these conscious subconscious and super conscious minds. we are generally working conscious mind uh, if we trained our memory such a way that we are working with unconscious minds means that if we are developing this as a photographic memory means that anything so we understood we know that anything or any object whatever we observe it or look or see it with my eyes or our eyes we can re retain this information near about a uh, long duration or long period of times so first of all we know it's that 80 percent of information was absorbed by our eyes and the remaining other parts is absorbed by other sense organs so these informations that was absorbed by our eyes and the other part of the eyes called verbal and verbal form of the informations and a non-verbal form of the informations so verbal form of the informations and the non-verbal form of the informations two types of the informations is available here so these informations can be observed if we are watching anything it can retain for a long period of time as i have uh, i had already told you here in this few minutes before so one by one we will try to understood that uh, how that this information can be retained in our memory for a long period of time this is only the best methods that i am going to teach you that is called photographic memories photographic memories is a such memory through which we can give the quick responses and uh, by recalling methods uh, we can recall any informations and uh, give us such a directions and, and through which we will any informations can say represent or give its to our colleagues and uh, also connect the previous information means that all the information whatever we have study because near about from the birth to the this is we have collected a lot of information uh, gather it in our brains but these informations that was already that we are already gathered in our brains is, uh, is near about 70 to 90 percent is unused and remain it in our memory so what would it as, um, be, be useful for us it is completely useless if we are not using ears these informations became old and uh, unuseless because coming generations giving new informations but one thing we don't understand is these giving informations is come from the previous pre-existing all information so based of the new information is generally uh, really a uh, base of the old information so new informations connect with old informations and uh, becomes the against better new informations up to date new information that create a miracles and uh, form new things means that it's discovered new things so discovery of many things is based on the previous pre-existing information so what is the main thing main thing is that so how can connect or find previous information previous information that was completely suppressed dominate suppressed receive lying in recessive forms dominated by the new information so we have to increase our recalling powers so that and the previous informations will come in front of our brains and we can connect new informations and uh, discover another and uh, uh, new things for the new generations for the uh, as a demanding as a demand is going on so, so the, here is the demand as the demands as the fulfill um, uh, requirements uh, of the peoples so we, here is the main things that uh, if we uh, want to do this uh, uh, and uh, this information retain in our minds so we have to use and learn and uh, develop uh, uh, photography memory and uh, we have to develop the photography memory we have to go we have to attain and the cl uh, classes of my classes especially that i will give you the training of the photographic 
conditions by link methods, memory power methods, mnemonic methods. There are a lot of methods and the rules is available here that are that are generally going on here on the YouTube channels. But with the help of these all informations, all rules and the uh, doctrine of law cannot be possible to find it. So we have uh, we have no times such that we will step by steps learn all the information all the um, techniques and uh, tricks and uh, skill developed in those directions so for development of the these skills we have to uh, require this uh, all in new informations soon without delay so without wasting our times i will teach you uh, different different uh, form of the informations sorry form of the techniques that will help you to retain all informations and wherever you want to use it you can use it and you can develop some near about a hundred percent of your memory and boost you just like a uh, just like a memory developed by the uh, swami vivekananda as you well known about the swami vivekananda and also bharat Ch chandra chakra chandra chatterji sorry chakravarti those in those period of times the bharat chandra sorry dasar dasar chandra chatterji who has learned the book near about the seven days and take the uh, take the uh, retain the information but whereas at the same period of times there was a book vivekananda swami vivekananda those who study only one day and uh, and uh, say every uh, store uh, every knowledge in our brains and uh, if we examine anybody examining him he find that he was such uh, such a miracles man and uh, miracles is going on his brains uh, so if you want to develop such brains you will please i will give you my link is given below don't forget to say subscribe my channels i will give you such a uh, directions and such a pathway through which you can develop your brain and your memory i hope that you have understood my languages my words if any types of the problems or any types of the uh, mis uh, disturbances is going on or confusion is going on in your minds or your brains you can also uh, have keep in connect with me and the link is given in my descriptions below below here in my youtube channels i hope uh, and thank you very much for that one thing okay thank you